What's up friends, I got a brand new video for you today and today we're gonna get a little bit spooky because today I'm gonna edit some shots that I took from a gothic editorial dark shoot with Marissa. We did this a couple years ago. She looked a little bit more dead and I really edited those photos quite a bit more than these. Um, I just wanna do the iPad workflow, so Lightroom to Photoshop. I've made videos on this in the past. Marissa also vlogged the entire shoot, so if our videos are synchronized, make sure to check out her video. I'll put a link in the description. So I really love this first shot. We shot this entire shoot with the Sony a7S III and I'm gonna eat my words because this camera actually looks great. There's tons of detail for a 12 megapixel sensor. Um, as you can see from here, nice and sharp, no problems there. Um, tons of detail. I am actually impressed. I think it's because I'm used to like 12 megapixels from like an iPhone and it's not the same thing. I really love this image. We walked past this tree and we saw these like red leaves on kind of like a barren tree. Like the tree was pretty much dead. Well, not dead, but all the leaves were dead except for a few of them. And I liked how the red kind of popped out and sort of matches with their lipstick. And in Photoshop, I'm gonna change the color of that lipstick to be a little bit more of an orange red instead of this pink red. But the first thing I need to do is crop this image because I don't really like how crooked this roof is up here. So we're gonna go in here to the cropping tool and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. I could even rotate it a bit as well, just to kind of level it off. And that's looking pretty decent. So I'm gonna go done. And I kind of want to apply my preset on all these images. Um, we got a couple more here, this one here, and these ones, we'll get to these later because I shot these specifically in black and white and they don't look good in color. So I'll come back to that later. I'm probably just gonna edit this image and probably this image. Um, there's a couple more in here that look really good as well, but um, we're gonna start with this image. So I'm gonna go to presets and these are my presets here. So the classic A1 is in black and white. So I'm gonna go to classic C1, I'm gonna go done and I'm gonna bump the exposure up a bit and also the highlights. I feel like it pulled back way too many highlights. Something like that. So I'm gonna warm this image up a bit. It's looking good. And I'm pretty happy with how everything looks here as far as color and adjustments. So I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is kind of warm up, make this lipstick a little bit more orange. Uh, kind of an orange red instead of a pink red. So the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer so I'm not editing the main one. Then I'm gonna add a clipping adjustment layer and we're gonna go with color balance. And we need to make a mask and for whatever reason, this starts out white, we need it to be black. Choose the paintbrush, I'm just gonna make it huge. Opacity, full opacity. And I'm just gonna color in this entire layer and you're gonna see that the mask goes dark. Then we're gonna switch this to the white paintbrush and we're gonna make the brush size way smaller so that we're only over top of the lips. So I'm going to make this a little bit more red and yellow here to warm it up. And I'm just gonna color in the lips. And since this is just a mask, I can basically change anything about it as far as color now. So I can go even redder. So I want that more warm orange type lipstick. And then I'm gonna actually pull the blending back a bit because we don't want it to be that strong. Something like that's pretty good. Now if I wanted to, I could actually also color in all of these leaves and do the exact same thing. If I wanted to turn down the opacity a little bit on them, I can just color in these leaves and also warm them up a little bit to match the lipstick. Because basically all I'm doing is coloring in the mask. Next thing I wanna do is do some touch up. There's some hairs here. There's a hair that runs right along here. I'm gonna use the cloning tool on that. Actually, I'm gonna use the healing tool on that. Just do a little bit of skin touch up as well. I'm gonna use the clone tool and I'm just gonna kind of smooth out the skin, specifically under the under eyes, just to kind of lighten them up a bit. And next I'm actually gonna lighten up the eyes a little bit because they're a little bit dark. I kind of want to leave them this way. I feel like some photographers overdo it and make the eyes pop out and look super fake, but I do want to brighten them up just a little bit. 
So I'm going to do that by making a selection here around the eye. Make sure I'm on this layer. And then I'm going to add another clip adjustment. And we're going to go curves. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to send this back to Lightroom. And I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So let's move on to another shot. So these shots I took with intention of being in black and white. And if you watch the behind the scenes video, I actually shot this in black and white on the camera. So my white balance might've been a little bit off. And because everything looks so bright and green still, once it goes black and white, you'll see that this tree and everything just works so well for this image. So I'm gonna go down to presets, classic ports presets, classic A1. And look how amazing that looks. That looks so good. I'm going to bump the exposure up a little bit pull those highlights all the way back and lift the shadows just a tiny little bit. And when we got the shot, I was so stoked because it looked really, really good. And this dead tree was definitely worth cutting our legs up, walking through these spiky bushes to get to. And I personally feel like there doesn't need to be much done to this image to make it look any different. Um, I don't think I would bring this into Photoshop. The only thing I might adjust is maybe a little bit more of these bushes and make them a little bit darker, but I don't hate how this looks. This looks pretty good. This shot is where I was really impressed with how the A7S III handles detail. If you zoom in here on the veil, you see skin texture, you see the veil, I see everything. I'm gonna make this one black and white. The whole intention of the shoot was to be in black and white, but I'm gonna bump the exposure up, lift our highlights a little bit, and drop the shadows just a tiny bit. And like I said, I intended to shoot this stuff in black and white, so I'm pretty happy with how this looks. The only issue I'm seeing is that there's like this random stick in here, and I kinda of wanna smooth some of the skin out a little bit. So let's bump this over to Photoshop. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here with the healing tool. And I'm just going to paint out this random stick that was stuck to the veil. I'm going to lighten up under the eyes with the clone tool and have my opacity really low. Brush size is good. And that looks pretty good. And that's basically all I would do. I'll send it back to Lightroom. And yeah, I, I love how these images look. There's obviously a whole bunch more. Uh, make sure to watch Marissa's video where she vlogs it. She'll probably put a lot more of the edits in there. And uh, follow us both on Instagram because I'm going to be posting some of these images. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Happy Halloween. See you guys in the next one.